Welcome to Ms. Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Ms. Smith. In this video, we're going to be talking about operations with functions. So you want to have a really good basic understanding of function notation before you try to start with actual operations. But as a quick reminder, um, these are different functions. This is read f of x, not f times x. Um, so this is Essentially, it means y. Um, whatever's in the place of x, that's what x is. And the expression itself, f of x, means y. So this is technically y equals 15x minus 6. And then you'll notice we have some other letters here. This would read g of x. Again, it just means y. It helps us to differentiate this one from this one. Um, h of x, j of x. So that just tells us helps us indicate which equation we're going to be using. So we're going to go through six examples here. We're going to be doing some adding, subtracting, multiplying, as well as dividing. For our first example, f of 2 plus g of 2. Now another way that you'll definitely see this written, sometimes you'll see it written this way, and sometimes you'll see it written as f plus g of 2. So it's important to understand that these two say the exact same thing. It just means I'm going to take my f equation, my g of equation, and in the place of x, I'm going to put 2. And I'm going to add them together. So just take them one at a time. We'll start with the f of x equation, 15 times x minus 6. But instead of x, I'm going to write 2. And now I'm going to add to that my g of x equation. So in this case, it's 2x squared plus 4. But instead of x, I'm going to write 2. So now we've eliminated all variables in there. So we should get a nice whole number. So I can actually just put this straight into my calculator, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So I don't have to think about PEMDAS too much. Um, so I would just do 15 times 2 minus 6 plus 2 times 2 squared plus 4. And I should get 36. Nice whole number. Okay. All right, let's look at one where we're subtracting. And in my opinion, subtraction is the one you have to be the most careful with. Addition is pretty pretty uh, straightforward subtraction we've got to be real careful with. So we're going to start with this reads g minus h of x. Another way to write this could be, and that you may see it written, g of x minus h of x. Now you'll notice in the first one we put a 2 in the place of x, but for this one it just has x there. So that's okay, we're just going to leave x as x. But we're going to do g of x, which is 2x squared plus 4 minus our h of x. And then this is the first time we're using h, negative 3x minus 4. Now you definitely want to use parentheses for this second one. And honestly, I use them for the first one too. Anytime I'm using subtraction, I go ahead and put my expressions in parentheses, especially for subtraction. So here we go, negative 3x minus 4. The reason why those parentheses are so important is because there's an understood negative 1 out in front of that parentheses that I have to distribute in, otherwise my answer will be wrong. Um, there's an understood positive 1 out in front of the first parentheses set. I can distribute that in as well. Uh, it's not going to change anything. 1 times anything is just exactly what I've started with, 2x squared plus 4. But this one is definitely going to make a difference. So that's negative 1 times negative 3x. That would be a positive 3x. And negative 1 times negative 4. That's going to become a positive 4. So you'll notice it just flipped the signs. If it was negative, it becomes positive. Um, at this point, I just want to combine like terms. The only like terms I see are this plus 4 and plus 4 which of course is 8. So we've got 2x squared plus 3x plus 8. 
Now, my instructions only said simplify. I'm not actually solving this as is a quadratic, but all I'm doing is just simplifying. So I'm going to leave that as my final answer. Okay, for this next one, we're going to um, notice that this looks a little weird. It's got a 4 out front of the f of x. Um, all that means is 4 times f of x. Anytime you see a letter or number thrown specifically out front that way, that means we're going to multiply that in. So I'm just going to write my f of x, which I remember is 15x minus 6. And I'm going to multiply that whole thing by that 4. So at this point, I would recognize that I do need to distribute that 4 in through multiplying. 4 times 15x, that's going to give me 60x. And 4 times negative 6, that's going to give me a negative x. Uh, 4 times negative 6 is going to give me negative 24. I don't have any other like terms, uh, so that's just as simplified as it gets. That's my final answer. All right, down here we're multiplying again, but now we're actually going to multiply two functions uh, together. So in this case, notice again, it's kind of like this one where we have the x in the place of x. So we're just going to leave it as x. We're not inserting a number for x or another letter or something this time. This could be written kind of as a review like we've done with these. You may also see it like g times h of x. These two say the exact same thing. I like it written the top way because I think it, it just looks better, but you will also see it written the bottom way. They mean the same thing. So let's go ahead and write g of x, which was 2x squared plus 4. And we're going to multiply that by h of x, which was negative 3x minus 4. So here I've got a binomial times a binomial. So that's a review of any time that happens, we need to FOIL. So that's our first, outer, inner, last multiplying. I've got a whole video on FOILing if you need to review that. But we are going to multiply our first numbers, so our first terms, I should say, 2x squared times negative 3x. That's going to give me negative 6x cubed. Anytime we multiply terms, we add the exponents. So 2 plus and understood 1 is 3. Nice little review there. Um, next, we'll do the outer. So 2x squared times negative 4. That would be our negative 8x squared. Now our inner, 4 times negative 3x is going to give me negative 12x. And now our last 4 times negative 4 would give me negative 16. Of course, I want to combine any like terms I can. And in this case, I don't have any like terms. And I know some people may be thinking, well, you've got x's. Aren't those like terms? Um, but no, in order for me to add or subtract, it would have to be not only the same letter, which these are, they have to have the same exponent too. So that's a 3, that's a 2, that's an understood 1. So those are not like terms. They cannot be combined. So this is as low as it gets, as simplified as it gets for what we're doing. Okay, our next example, j of 4 plus c. So this is the first time we've used this j over here with this fraction. So notice, this looks weird, but notice what's in the place of x. Up here it was 2, up here we've been doing just x recently, but now we've got something else in the place of x, 4 plus c. Well, all that means is instead of writing x, we're going to write 4 plus c. So in this case, 3 fourth times 4 plus c. But then we got to finish it out. It's also plus 1. So at this point, we do want to distribute that fraction into the parentheses set. It's OK that it's a fraction. It still works the same way. Neg uh, 3 fourths times 4 actually gives us a whole number. It gives us 3. 
3 fourths times C is positive 3 fourths C. And now we've got this just plus 1 hanging out there. Remember, we only distribute to the parentheses, not beyond it. So, of course, I want to combine any like terms, and I see I've got a 3 and a 1. So I'm going to go ahead and add those together, and I would have 3 fourths C. 3 plus 1 is 4. No other like terms. That is as simplified as it gets. For our last example, this is f divided by g of 2. So this time we're dividing. So I just want to notice what's in the place of x. This time it's 2. Instead of writing x, I'm going to write 2 in my f and g expression. So let's write the f first. So 15x minus 6. So I'm going to write 15 times 2 in the place of x minus 6. And we are going to divide that by g of 2. So 2 times 2 squared plus 4. I'm just going to simplify the whole top and then the whole bottom and then we can reduce uh, if we can. Um, so 15 times 2 I know is 30. 30 minus 6 is going to give me 24 for my numerator. In my denominator, a lot of people get confused here. They want to do 2 times 2 first, but we've got to remember in PEMDAS, I do the exponent before I multiply, so just be careful there. Um, you can just put the whole thing in your calculator, but if you don't have one, you want to follow those rules. So 2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and then 8 plus 4 is 12. Of course, I want to reduce, and this definitely can reduce. 24 divided by 12 actually reduces to just 2. So 2 would be our final answer. Now you guys can try a problem. For this one, I've given you a new f of x and a new g of x, and I want you to find f plus g of 2. So find that and I will post the answer in the description of this video so you can check to see if you're right. This has been Miss Miss Math Tutorials.